With some of the highest rated games of all time, the Legends of Zelda series has produced many great gaming moments, some of which have defined generations. With that said however, these iconic scenes would be a lot less impactful without a strong soundtrack to back them up. That's where Konji Kodo, one of the greatest composers of the era, comes into play. This series has consistently featured some of the most effective musical scores in the industry, and with the long-awaited sequel to Breath of the Wild currently in the works, that all looks set to continue. Each game is packed full of memorable and memorizing tunes, but not all of them are quite as forgettable as others. In the three and a half decades since the series made its debut, there have been countless of high quality tracks that have helped to shape Link's many adventures. And on that note, we've taken a list from GameArounds.com, looking at the top 10 best songs in the Legends of Zelda series so far. And of course, just before we do get into the video, if you do like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like the video. We do also stream over on Twitch, I will leave all the links within the description box below. And with all that said, let's get into the top 10 list. These are the top 10 best Zelda songs of all time. Number 10. Astral Observatory The themes and ideas explored in Majora's Masks are a lot darker and more mature than the ones found in his N64's predecessor, and this is reflected in the game's fantastic soundtrack. Many of the songs found throughout the title mirror the sense of hopelessness, and dread laid out into the game's narrative, though this isn't all doom and gloom. Astral Observatory is a hauntingly beautiful track, filled with excitement and wonder, which is perhaps why it stands out so much from the rest of the game's soundtrack. Beneath the whistle melody lies an air of hope, something which is noticeably absent throughout the Majora's Mask game. As such, it manages to be both uplifting and tragic all at the same time. Number 9. Gerudo Valley Gerudo Valley first appeared in the Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64, although numerous versions of the track have been released in the years that have followed. The most memorable addition can be found on the special 25th anniversary CD that came bundled with Skyward Sword, and offers the same feeling of mysticism and hot desert days as the original but on a much grander scale. Starting with the violins, the intensity picks up before the brass section kicks in with the memorable hook of the song. The Gerudo Valley track has always been a fan favourite, even before its release. Though it wasn't until the orchestra version showed up that it started to gain the recognition that it really deserves. Number 8. Forest Temple The Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time is interesting in that, while Link's goal is primarily still to solve puzzles and beat the dungeon's boss, the way that the player goes around doing it is very different from any dungeon that has come before it. Given its uniqueness, there needed to be a song to help convey the arduous nature of chasing down the pose. The result is something that sounds spiritual and grand while also evoking feelings of exploration. Beginning with percussions fading in and out, the stringed instruments slowly enter, increasing the intensity as the vocals finally hit. It's one of the more underrated songs in the franchise, despite complementing the temple in the best way possible. Number 7. Dragon Roost Island Wind Waker took the things that the 3D Zelda games did right in a brand new direction. Ditching the pseudo-realistic aesthetic of its predecessors, it adopted a more cartoonish look. Not only that, but it also did away with the traditional medieval setting of previous titles, taking place on a series of islands instead. To complement this aesthetic, players were treated to the Dragon Roost Island song. With more stringed instruments, backed by what sounds like claps or snaps, and a pan flute for the melody, this song is one of the most iconic in the game. It really fits with the island setting, and it doesn't feel out of place in the Zelda franchise despite the somewhat drastic change in direction. Number 6. Ballad of the Goddess the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword may be a little controversial in terms of fan reception, but one thing that no one can deny is that it had one heck of a soundtrack, and in this case, Ballad of the Goddess. In many ways, this song captures the same feeling of grandeur as the franchise's main theme, while still managing to sound completely different. Skyward Sword was one of the first franchises to feature a full orchestral soundtrack, making it sound far grander than earlier games right off the bat. Interestingly and fun fact, Ballad of the Goddess is actually Zelda's lullaby played in reverse, yet despite sharing many of the same elements, it sounds completely new and unique. Number 5. Dark World Dungeon 
The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past doesn't get nearly enough credit for its amazing soundtrack, and maybe that's partially down to the relatively underwhelming sound system in the SNES. However, Dark World Dungeon proves that sometimes all the bells and whistles aren't required to put together a fantastic song. The dungeon theme sets a tone right away jumping into a frantic melody while lower keyed horns play loudly in the background. It's almost like the song wants the player to know that they should be speeding through the area, while also remembering that there's potential danger around every corner. Number 4. Hidden Village Of all the music in the Legends of Zelda franchise, Hidden Village feels the most out of place. Instead of the traditional orchestra songs that instills feelings of high fantasy adventure in the Middle Ages, it sounds more like something one would expect to find in an American Western movie. With the guitar and whistle handling the melody, there appears to be a slight tinge of diggery doo before the flute chimes come in. This marks a transition to a more Latin American sound, with trumpets taking over for the duration of the song. The mishmash of sounds, though out of keeping with the fans' expectations, really doesn't fit the area's aesthetic as a result. Number 3. Main Menu Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer featuring The Legend of Zelda, took one of the best parts of the Zelda franchise and built a fantastic spin-off game around it. Unlike other titles, however, it was able to stray away from the tradition and offer something a little more modern. The result is this fantastic Chill Hop inspired remix of the main menu song from the Ocarina of Time. Fans of the Zelda series may not be used to this kind of gameplay mechanics that come with the Crypt of the Necrodancer, and therefore may be a little put off. Yet for those who genuinely love the music from the series, this title is full of gems like this, though players should expect all of them to be quite this good. Number 2. Song of Storms Ocarina of Time may be full of iconic tracks, but Song of Storms is perhaps the most recognisable original tune from the game. Taught to link as an adult by the owner of the windmill in Kakariko Village, the song actually creates a pretty interesting paradox, as players must travel back in time to play the song to the man as a child. With a mix of various wind instruments, the tune has a special ring to it which makes it incredibly unique. More importantly, perhaps it's also able to be looped perfectly without it ever becoming annoying, which ties in pretty nicely considering how often players will have to listen to it during their playthrough. Number 1. Main Theme While the Legend of Zelda series is known for its music, it's defined by one song. Written by Koji Konda for the very first Zelda game, this song has been updated in almost every subsequent title. As iconic as the franchise that it spawned from, it now features an entire orchestra and screams adventure throughout every single note. It's hard to imagine this franchise without this song, and in a way it's one of the most important in gaming history. Regardless of the era that they grew up in, there's a version that all series fans hold near and dear to their hearts, so deciding which is the best version will most likely come down to players' opinions than anything else. And so there you pretty much have it, that was the top 10 best songs in the Legends of Zelda series so far. So what did you think of the list? Do you agree with this top 10 that we've put together? Or perhaps that you think there's a song missing from the list that should have been included? If so, do let me know in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. And of course, not forgetting that if you do like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and of course, like the video. I will also leave some more top 10 videos at the end of this video if you would like to check them out. Thanks very much for watching guys, and I will see you all next time.